This is a completely edible plastic with drinking water inside that we just made at home and could be a huge step towards a future with less plastic waste. In today's video, which is sponsored by KiwiCo, we're not only gonna go through how we made them, but also attempt making edible ketchup packages, coffee cup pods, and more. So we all know that single-use plastics are a problem given how much ends up in landfills and the oceans. And even most of our recyclable plastic doesn't actually end up being recycled. And while there's a ton of research going into viable alternatives that are either biodegradable or edible, we thought, why not try this ourselves? So that's what we're gonna do today. And you can easily join along with us. All you'll really need is water, which we have in three different bowls here. And then we have something called sodium alginate is actually a byproduct of seaweed. I have experimented a little bit with this the other night. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> the other ingredient is calcium lactate. And both of these substances are edible. Yes, they are wow. both food grade. And we want one gram of sodium alginate that's gonna get mixed into one cup of the drinking water. All right, Greg, I'm gonna give you the honors of dumping it in. Love to dump. <laughs> we are actually gonna use a hand blender. You just gotta keep going till it's fully dissolved. Okay, come on, powder, go. <laughs> it's like the blender's getting hot. <laughs> Okay, so we blended, the blender's gonna explode. There are a lot of bubbles now, probably around 10, 15 minutes, if not a little longer, for all those bubbles to go away. I'm always terrified when this blender is plugged in because it feels so risky. Like, if it's just sitting on the counter plugged in, all it takes is this button to be pushed to like chop your finger off. Mitch is always, always sort of unplug your blender. trying to figure out like, how he could die, like in many different <laughs> possibilities. I do not have that part of my brain, but I've almost died many times in my life. Does anyone else have that brain? Where you're just like, at every given moment, how will this situation kill me? That's why I don't leave the house. Yeah, I think it's called anxiety. <laughs> I think it's called severe anxiety. <laughs> While we're waiting, we're gonna do our second solution. We have four cups of water in this bigger bowl here, and we're gonna use five grams of calcium lactate in here. In this Lump one. it in there, baby. Oh! oh! Same thing, this substance isn't as tough to dissolve. I'm gonna stick it in our bowl. Oh. oh. Ah! <laughs> our sodium alginate solution has no more bubbles, so basically at this point we're going to scoop it up, and I'm using a little rounded spoon here so that we can keep sort of an orb shape, and we're going to be dropping it in to our calcium lactate solution. Gently drop it and literally it's gone. it will look like it disappeared. You can't see it. After a little bit, it's gonna be in there. We'll start to see cloudiness, but it's actually really hard to see depending <laughs> on your bowl. Oh, well, I can see it. Okay, my boyfriend has x-ray vision. So you just for around three minutes want it to have this sort of calcium lactate bath to make sure that that reaction is happening. You can see that. Oh, I think I can. It kind of looks like a jellyfish. Yeah. So what's going on in this here bowl? Well, the sodium alginate is made of long strands of carbohydrate units. And when they come in contact with the calcium bath, a reaction happens. The bonds rearrange so that the alginate binds to the calcium, forming calcium alginate. And this cross-linking creates a flexible, soft, solid, or gelatinous substance. The longer it soaks, the more calcium ions are able to move into the mesh of the gel, making more cross-links and a firmer gel. Oh my god! Can I see that? <laughs> Can I hold it? Yeah, yeah, put your hand out, just like... Oh my god! There you go! I love TV! That's so cool. Okay, so now, so this is encapsulated oh. water. If you want, you could squirt the water out into your mouth, or you can actually eat the whole thing. It depends on, obviously, if you like the taste of it or not. It should have a fairly neutral, if not a little bit sweet taste. I love this! Wanna try it? Yes! I don't wanna eat it, it's so cute! No, we can make another one, eat it! Just eat it. Just put the whole thing in your mouth. Mmm! Oh, you actually didn't eat the outside. Okay, we this got the, the outside water. of the okay. This is the plastic <laughs> water bottle. Okay. okay, but you can eat. So that. I can eat this. I don't know why that was <laughs> so off-putting to me. <laughs> oh, it does taste good. I freaking love this. Can we do it with everything? What's we're happening? Gonna, we're gonna okay. do it with everything. But first, I want to try a bigger one. Again, invisible. Bro. Oh, I can see it. It's big. Big mama. Oh, she's a biggie. Trigger. So we've just put her in the bath. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It's a biggie. She's a thick daughter. Oh, that whole thing is running in your mouth? Did you just barf? No, it was it exploded in my mouth and the water came out. We 
<laughs> now let's experiment. Okay. <laughs> let's experiment. Well, okay, we're gonna. It's time to try some ketchup. Okay. Ugh. Oh, it just smells like ketchup. We got a little bit of pommes frites, as the <laughs> French say. If we do this, like, we are gonna start a business, we are gonna change the freaking world! Literally. <laughs> I burst through the ceiling. <laughs> like that? You think that? Just try it, just try it. I'm gonna just like let it go like, <laughs> Ew, this it is It literally wrong. looks like a piece of turd. Ew. It's a little blo It looks like a heart, like a little tiny that does like, look like a heart. mouse heart. But it does feel pretty solid, right? Like a, yeah, yeah. Like, can oh, you put it between yeah. your hands? Okay, so it's holding together. It's not melting your hand. Oh, this so is like, so let's, weird. let's put it here and then dip a fry. Okay. Just pretend it came as a package. So look, a okay. little uh, rat heart. Cheers. Cheers. Open it up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Actually, the French are gonna love this. A decent alternative to having packages. All right, we've got our little latte prepared here. An almond um, milk latte, I'm very excited about this. Now, obviously our creations would not work for a lot of products as a wet and potentially breakable plastic is not ideal. But while this is just a fun at-home experiment, there are actually real solutions being created for a multitude of industries as we speak. A handful of companies are already making not only compostable food packaging, but actual packaging for non-food objects, waterproofing and greaseproofing for takeout boxes, six-pack holders that are safe for marine consumption, and even edible utensils made out of potatoes. One of the main drawbacks that still remains for biodegradable plastics as opposed to edible plastics is that while they do break down faster than traditional plastic, they can still take a long time. And a landfill isn't always conducive to that process to begin with. But even with that drawback, while plastics are made from fossil fuels, bioplastics are not. Of course, there's some hopeful research in breaking down plastics faster with the use of bacteria or wax worms that are able to break down polyethylene, but the scalability for this is questionable. Regardless, there is a big push and movement towards more sustainable and environmentally friendly packaging, and I for one feel hopeful. Is that okay? Yeah. So I am the coffee drinker. This would be my dream, just to popity pop 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 on the go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to purchase your coffee bubbles, just call one 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 coffee bubble. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, it's a coffee bubble. <laughs> oh my gosh. I That's love it. crazy. Oh Whoa. my gosh. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. It's like a little liver. And the bubbles are in it. Mmm. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's literally a bubble of coffee. It wasn't flavored with sugar. So oh, it yeah, really tastes like a boom of coffee in your mouth, like a coffee uh. tree. But I, do, I am like, it would be great with sugar. As a Should we mix snacky. some sugar in there and try again? <laughs> yes, daddy! Oh, can you see A it cappuccino ball! <laughs> That's so cool. Mm. Is it good? It's so weird. It's like, like you're eating coffee. <laughs> it's a coffee gusher. I That's love so it. Good. This is one of the weirdest days I've had in my life. <laughs> Put a lot of sugar in. <laughs> well, that was cool. I honestly, can, million dollar like idea. Fun. Yeah, I could definitely see a coffee chain making something like this as a novelty. This could be your gimmick where people line up to get mm -hmm. the coffee balls. Like people in Toronto love to line up for a gimmick. So <laughs> there you go. This very simple chemical reaction to me makes a lot of sense about how we could, you know, decrease single use plastic. Mm -hmm. Someone will figure this out. This is a great start. If we could do this at home, we can only imagine the potential for this in the future. You should definitely try doing this with your kids or even with your friends. I mean, adult friends, if you're talking about alcohol. 
<laughs> if you're looking for more at home things to keep you occupied because you're trapped indoors like all of us are, uh, our sponsor today is a perfect opportunity for you to do just that. We are obsessed with today's sponsor, KiwiCo, which is designed to expose kids to concepts in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. You can use kiwico.com slash ASAP for your first month free. It's an amazing resource and gift for anyone wanting to help kids learn at home. Each box comes with all the supplies needed for that month's project, so no need to ever run to the store. There's different crates for different ages. And by signing up today using kiwico.com slash ASAP, you help our show and get a first month free. It makes our month when we get these hands-on projects in the mail, and you can too. This is an especially amazing holiday gift idea. I signed up the six to 11 year old crates for my my cousins and the two to four year old crates for my nephew and they freak out every time they get them in the mail. They love updating me with photos of what they've made and most importantly, what they've learned. Thanks again to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. We love a sponsor that helps to inspire kids to become creative problem solvers and critical thinkers. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you next time for a new science video. See ya.